Hello, I am Dr. Amit Tak. Today we will learn how to use Ishiara chart for testing the color vision. So you can see many pictures here. This picture involves various shades of colors. And you can see the animals and soldiers are using these shades of color to protect themselves. So this phenomena is known as camouflage. So how we use the Ishiara chart to test the color vision, we will see it. So Ishiara chart contains 38 plates. In 38 plates, 1 to 25 plates are for the literate person and 26 to 38 plates are to test the illiterate person. In this lecture, we will talk about plate number 1 to 25. So plate number 1, plate number 1 is known as demonstrative plate. So, in this plate, a 12 is written within some dots. So, this plate is visible to everybody, whether it's a color blind person or a normal color vision person. So, this is a demonstrative plate. It is used to demonstrate how the numbers are written in this circle. The next plates from plate number 2 to 9 are known as transformative plates. So, you can see in transformative plates, this is the plate number 2 and the normal person will read in this plate 8. However, person with red green color deficiency will read this number as 3. Similarly, in plate number 3, normal person will read 6. However, person with red green color deficiency will read it 5. Plate number 4, normal person will read 29 and abnormal will read it 70. In plate number 5, normal will read 57. However, person with red green color deficiency will read it 35. Plate number 6, normal person will read it 5 and abnormal person will read it 2. Plate number 7, normal person will read 3 and abnormal person will read it 5. On plate number 8, normal person will read it 15 and person with red green color deficiency will read it 17. Similarly, on plate number 9, normal person will read it 74 and person with red green deficiency will read it 21. Now, coming on the vanishing plates. So, plate numbers 10 to 17 are known as vanishing plates. Here, a normal person will read the number what is written in a circle and person with red green color deficiency will not read anything. So, on plate number 10, normal person will read 2 but person with color red green color deficiency will not read anything. On plate number 11, normal person will read 6. On plate number 12, normal person will read it 97. On plate number 13, normal person will read it 45. Plate number 14, normal person will read it 5. On plate number 15, normal person will read it 7. Plate number 16, normal person will read it 16. Plate number 17, normal person will read it 73. However, Person with red green color deficiency will not read anything. <clears throat> now coming on the hidden plates. These plates are from 18 to 21. So this is plate number 18. A normal person will not read any number in this figure. However, person with red green color deficiency will read 5 in this plate. Similarly, on Plate number 19, no number is visible to a normal person. However, person with red green deficiency will read it 2. On plate number 20, normal person will not read anything. However, person with red green color deficiency will read it 45. On plate number 21, person with red green color deficiency will read it 73. However, person with normal color blindness will not read anything. Now, we will see Diagnostic plates. They are from number plate 22 to 25. These plates are used to differentiate red weakness from the green weakness. So, on plate number 22, a normal person will see 26. However, a person with red deficiency or we can call it proteinopia, 6 is visible to that person. However, 2 is not visible. In contrast, a person with green deficiency or deuteronopia will see 2. 
but for to that person six is not visible. Similarly, on plate number twenty three for protonepia two is visible for deuteronepia four is visible to that person. On plate number twenty four person with red weakness will see five and person with green weakness will see only three. On plate number twenty five person with red deficiency will see only six and person with green deficiency will see only nine. So this is all about the testing of color vision plates. Now how to interpret the result? As far as Ishara book is concerned, we will use twenty one plates for its assessment. If a person can see seventeen plates, more than seventeen plates, we can call it a normal color vision person. Or in case if person sees only less than thirteen plates, then we will call it a color deficient. So this classification is quite vague, but the organizations that are using color vision testing for recruitment, they they have their own categorization from CP one to CP five. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Thank you.